Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today for you I have another extreme overclocking session. This time I would like to run the Cinebench R5 in single core with the CPU at 5 GHz. Let's see how far we are gonna get. Sorry again for the noise because as you may know this thing is loud. Now I'm waiting to reach the lowest temp possible. Meantime, I will explain you how these numbers are. So here we have the first stage that is usually at minus 40, minus 45. And then we have the second stage here, the coldest one, that usually go below 90. Sometimes we reach minus 95, but it's only in the evaporator, this section here. So the last part of the cooler that is attached directly to the CPU. Okay, so we are now at minus 93 and let's start with some warm-up run. I will do the full core test at 4.8 GHz. The memory in this case is at 3400 MHz C14 Ryzen DRAM Calculator Profile Extreme. Usually when we go below zero, especially when we go below 80 degrees Celsius, the memory on Ryzen are very difficult to manage because when you go down, that down, the memory usually works at 300 MHz, 3200 MHz but it's very difficult for a Ryzen to handle very low temperature and RAM speed. So, let's try to increase the frequency directly at 5 GHz and let's see how is the score in single core. Well, I'm not so impressed, we have 206 points and uh, at 5 GHz a Core i7-8700K score about 220. So yes, I'm a bit disappointed. Let's see if we can go past 5 GHz, let's try 5.1. system freeze and now I think I have 10 minutes before I can start up the system again the problem here is when we are too cold in this case minus 96 degree everything freeze so I cannot post I cannot get the system started as I have 9c the 9c error to do that I have to turn off the second stage and wait, at least we reach minus 70, minus 75. The system is just too cold to be able to boot. So let's wait. Now that the temp is higher or less low, we can boot the system. Okay, we have Windows update in between. Fantastic. Just, you know, Windows pick up the best time ever to do the upgrades especially when you are sub-zero but anyway this is just for fun for real benchmark I use a different version of the operating system I use Windows 7 with some tweaks something that I might show you in the next session when I have more time to do the test now this is the last session of the month because I have to take the processor down to do other view like the RTX review and other videos so for this month this will be the last session after five minutes I'm still unable to boot when you do extreme overclocking uh, sometimes you have to wait a lot of time to the components to warm up or you get something you know, random error or that kind of sometimes is frustrating because you have to wait to test to try again to wait is not that easy. So 
So I think I'm going to shut down the system and install this. This Radeon RX Vega 64. So if I can boot the system up, we can try to do some gaming benchmark at 5 GHz. The cascade went into protection mode again. It's too hot. We are about at 30 degrees at room temp and it's too much. I cannot bench with a long session like this. So for now I have to stop but we can plan the next video together. So I don't know if I can keep pushing the 2700X or to use the Ryzen 5 2600 or the small one the 2200G with a mini ITX motherboard so I can overclock as well the GPU. Let me know what you would like to see next and see you in the next video.